Welcome to my channel. Let's make a very easy skincare project today, which is a massage bar. You can also call it a solid body lotion or a solid body butter. And we are going to use three ingredients only. The first one and the main ingredient is cocoa butter. And cocoa butter, like other natural moisturizers, is mostly made up of fatty acids. These fats may help form a protective layer on the skin, preventing moisture from escaping and therefore stopping the skin from drying out. Our next ingredient is shea butter. High concentrations of fatty acids and vitamins make shea butter an ideal cosmetic ingredient for softening skin. Shea butter also has anti-inflammatory and healing properties. Using shea butter on your body can condition, tone and soothe your skin. Our next ingredient is beeswax. The anti-inflammatory properties of beeswax encourage the healing of wounds. It is also protective, helping form a barrier between the skin and the environment without clogging pores. Further, beeswax is high in vitamin A, which supports cell reconstruction and health. So let's get into it. As you can see, I get my cocoa butter in little chips or pellets. It's very easy to weigh out, but sometimes you will have cocoa butter also coming in chunks, as you can see here, that's fine as well. It's just up to your preference or your supplier. So what we're gonna do, we are going to measure out the ingredients according to the recipe that you will find, of course, down in the description box below. First of all, our cocoa butter, I'm going to pour it in a heat safe container. We just add the cocoa butter. It has a very nice chocolatey smell. It's actually also what you use to make chocolate, by the way. If you add cocoa powder to it and sugar, then you have chocolate. Then we add our shea butter that we have pre-measured out and then the beeswax, of course. This is the refined beeswax. You can also get the unrefined one. That's a little more yellow looking and a little bit more honey smelling. It's according to your preference, really. I like to have the neutral one so I can fragrance my bar according to my liking. Okay, so we have all the ingredients ready to go and I like to put it in a double boiler. A double boiler is a very gentle heating method uh, that you would use when you make chocolate, for example. It has water in between, like the two layers, if you want to say so. And you can also, of course, use a microwave. In that case, please use short increments so that you don't overheat your ingredients. As you can see here, it doesn't take a long time for them to completely melt. And here we go. So now to our mixture, we are going to add, of course, a fragrance. This is optional. I'm using a fantastic fragrance oil here from Nurture Soap called Lemon Pound Cake. I absolutely love it. You will find also the amount that you can use in the recipe down below. And then I just give it a good mix so that it will completely incorporate into the mixture. Next step, I get my molds. I have some nice chocolate molds here. Link also in the description box below. And I just fill my mold with the mixture. And once I have all the molds filled, I allow them to completely cool and you could also pop it in the fridge, especially a half an hour before you take them out so they are really firm and they are easy to unmold that way. And just as a side note, you could of course also color your bar if you wanted to. You can of course use any type of mold. I just thought that this chocolate bar here was um, a fun idea for Valentine's Day. So now you can see that the mixture is slowly solidifying and we just allow it to cool completely and then we are ready for unmolding. What I like to do before unmolding is to stretch my mold around the bar here so that it can release easily. And you don't want to force it, just slowly get the bar out. And it smells amazing, by the way. And here is how it turns out. I think it's great. We are going to have a look at different kind of packaging ideas afterwards. So just for inspiration. 
You could also color them pink, for example, why not? Or even add some botanicals to it to make it a little bit more interesting. I did one more mold so that I would have enough bars. Now that Valentine's Day is coming up, by the way, I have other Valentine's Day projects here on my channel, as you can see here in the picture down below, if you want to go and check this out. Now let's have a look on how we can package these cuties. So I have a cellophane kind of bag here that really fits well to this size. I got it from Amazon. I'm sure you can find these types a little bit everywhere. And I just popped in the massage bar and then I made some stickers or some labels for it. By the way, if you are a member of my Buy Me A Coffee page, then you have free access to these. Otherwise, on the same Buy Me A Coffee page, you can download them if you want to. Here is how it turns out. It says massage bar. You can, of course, also label it differently. You can make your own labels, just add a sticker and handwrite something on it would be cute as well. Let's add this other sticker here and see how it turns out. I think it's just a great idea. And by the way, if you want to use these and you think they are too big, you just can break them like you would do with a chocolate bar and then use them to slide on your skin. Very nice alternative to cream, very travel friendly. I think it's totally practical. And here you can see one of these Valentine's Day stickers that I made. Or you could take a bigger cellophane bag, add a ribbon to it and then add a sticker. Very cute as well. For those who know me, you know that I absolutely like to make my own gift boxes and gift bags. And um, I made some pillow boxes. I thought it would be cute to just add the chocolate bar in here. You could add a sticker as well. We'll have a video coming up explaining how you can make your own pillow boxes here on my channel very, very soon. Let's see another possibility. I made another pillow box here, a smaller one. I think it's really cute and I think that a handmade gift box adds a little extra touch to a handmade product. So here we go, all of them. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in more soap making videos or skincare DIY, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you around here very soon for another video and in the meantime, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye bye!